and it was in 1906 when it was found the aspect in 1906 of the Faculty of Medicine. Some of you were there uh, last year. And you can see here the Faculty of Medicine, which is surrounded by the hospital clinic. The hospital clinic was also open in the same year. It was a pack. The faculty and the hospital. The hospital clinic is one of the most astounding, outstanding hospitals in Spain. In fact, it's the first in the rankings in Spain. It's one of the most important in Europe as well. In some specialties, specifically, like liver, hematology, and others. But it's a very good hospital. This is the aspect of the fact that the area it has been revealed in a lot of places. And you can see the library here at the top of the center of the faculty. It is better seen here in this uh, air vision. You can see the faculty here, the library at the top, and the clinic hospital surrounding the faculty of medicine. And then you can see a lot of buildings are around. It was very different than the aspect that you had seen just a moment ago. Some figures, uh, some uh, points that I would like to show you about the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Barcelona. With seven faculties of medicine in a total. The University of Barcelona is the oldest one and the biggest one in Catalonia. It's the second in Spain after the Complutense of Madrid. We admit 270 students every year uh, and we graduate. Most of you are very good students. Are, there is another campus, campus of Benfica. One third of the students go here, and two thirds here, because we give here the complete studies of medicine, as well as the campus clinic. And the third is San Juan de Deo. We have three bachelor studies. Of course, medicine, biomedical sciences, like you have here, and Biomedical Engineering. For time reasons, I only will speak about medicine, but I would like to point out how interesting and how important it is to share the environment with these two other studies, like Biomedical Sciences and Biomedical Engineering. Because medicine only can progress with these two studies very close one each other. For research and for application of the advances in medicine in clinical practice. The practice of uh, gynecology. You can see this. Just some pictures to relax. We have a new facility now for a skill class. And this is a simulator lab. This simulator lab is, I would say, better than uh, uh, intensive care unit because it's a real intensive care unit with the most advanced equipment in this intensive care unit. Dr. Nicolas is the director. This patient simulator can be connected or the uh, the, the situation of any patient in any intensive care unit in the hospital clinic can be connected to this patient simulator. And that's great. And we need uh, more space for that. Here you can see the residents. And here is the dissection room, like you have also for your practice uh, with bodies. And you can see here uh, some, uh, there's a course of post-graduate studies 
people performing arthroscopies, for instance. We have a lot of bodies uh, in our dissection room. We have every day a donation of 200 bodies every year. Sorry, every, every year. Every year, 200 bodies, not every day. <laughs> every year. And we have a service of donation bodies that has uh, about 20,000 people that has signed to give their body to the Faculty of Medicine. So we have a lot of bodies to, to practice and this is a very interesting way to learn. This is the library. Connection like, like you have with uh, all facilities in uh, e journals and all of that. And respecting, uh, according to research, we have five research institutes that are related to the Faculty of Medicine. One of them is related to campus of Belvice and the hospital of Belvice. So this is outside the campus clinic. All others are around the campus clinic. And you can see this is a basic research clinical translation research institute. Cresci is an epidemiological institute. They do uh, research in epidemiology. And we have another institute that recently has uh, a space in our faculty, which is Josep Carreras Institute. I don't know if you are aware who is Josep Carreras. Josep Carreras is an opera singer that uh, 25 years ago he suffered from a leukemia. And he was cured with a transplantation of bone marrow and decided to promote a foundation, Josep Carreras Foundation, a later on a research institute against leukemia. He is alive, he is cured, he is seen, and he has opened this Josep Carreras Research Institute against leukemia. So all research in the Faculty of Medicine and all research of the hospital clinic is done in these institutes. Research is a network of research uh, that is recognized in this campus is centered by the Faculty of Medicine. The Faculty of Medicine is the nucleus of the University of Barcelona, is the nucleus of this network, but also the Faculty of Odontology and to apply this innovation in science. So this is a project that I hope to be success in a very short time. So this is the title of my presentation. And uh, don't worry, I will be on time. Uh, because uh, in spite of this a little bit uh, that you made before to me, I have seen this object, this very important object to satisfy the needs of the community. Second, I will talk about the educational levels and the acquisition of responsibilities. I will talk short about undergraduate and postgraduate studies and finally some conclusions. The best medical profile very fast of residency training program, master and doctorate, and continuing medical law occupation. I why to fight for a good qualification in depending on this qualification, they arrive to a national list. And finally, depending the situation in this final uh, uh, list, they can choose yeah, these five branches. What happened with that? They say in this law, residents, which is the problem? The problem is that specialists and all especially sixth year of clinical undergraduate studies 
in the program. Of course, always with the agreement of the healthcare system, etc., 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 so specialized in uh, cardiac electrophysiologists, but we will see later on that. For medical specialists and graduate uh, in medicine and more, uh, get uh, high uh, competencies in research. The third is super specialization in this master and makes 16 students. That makes efficient, but then each master, sorry, each super specialization has its own credit research practice and the final project. All masters has this uh, distribution. The name of the super specialization. So you have the title, university title, and because sometimes the level of the quality of this. So this is the summary of uh, what I said respecting to postgraduate studies. And defending problems by all. We have to, at least in Spain, to establish, in addition to cognitive subjects, we have to guarantee a solid internal background and the final learning outcomes after. So, I know that people, in uh, most people in uh, United Arab Emirates, is from uh, the Real Madrid Football Club. I was told that. Flag Emirates. I am from the Football Club Barcelona. Yes. Anyway, if you are from Real Madrid or you are from Barcelona, you will be always welcome in Barcelona.
Well, thank you, sir, for your interesting lecture. I just want to ask if I'm a PharmD student and I want to transfer for the University of Barcelona, if I want to take some master's in pharmacology or in community medicine, should I be a specific medical student or whatever I would be a dentistry student or a PharmD student? You can go to one university or other. You can come from uh, Europe or you can come from anywhere. No, sir, about my degree, I'm a PharmD student. Pharmacist. Pharmacist? Yeah, pharmacist and pharmacist. Yeah, yeah, you can find. I can find it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 